Okay, so we just dropped down our first rig. And as soon as we dropped down, we had fish all around it. You can see on the fish finder, they're playing with it. But I'm going to let them keep playing with it and let the quick strike do its thing. Some terrible filming. I'm not set up yet. But uh, about a minute in, first little fish of the day. Feels like a little guy. Yeah, pretty similar to what we were catching last time. A little smaller than average. But there we go. White tube jig. HT Quick Strike is one for one. Take it. So I just moved this oh, a couple minutes ago. And yeah, we'll take it. Strike went off. How do you know when that went off? Oh shit! Jeez. Good deal. That's what we like. This is a bigger fish or just another fighter. These a couple of these little ones have really been put on a good fight today. Oops. Oh well, see you later. Here. <laughs> he let himself go, but he was sitting there, so there we go.
worm hook. Well, more of an egg hook. Okay, right in the lip. In the top of the lip. Down he goes. Maybe a little better. I do keep my drag set really loose, but there's actually two fish going all over down there. Bummer. You know, this ice is thick. They get up and leverage off the ice. What a bummer. Another little guy, same thing right in the lip with that hook, there he goes. I was hoping I was going to make up for that big one. Got it. And just another dink. But, we'll take him. Doubled. <laughs> Doubled. Almost ate that. Better fish, maybe. Eh. Chaos. Fish number one. Ow. Payback, he says. You hook my face, I'll hook your finger. Fish number one. Land number two. You shall see. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This is a little better fish, not much actually. They always look better in the water. Okay, sweet. Just barely hooked in there. One trick I found with my Dodger rigs is a quart sized freezer bag is a lifesaver for avoiding tangles. And I can just stick it in the side pocket of my fishing box and I'm good to go. So just a little tip for those. Okay, this is fish number five for today on the quick strike. We cut Two on the jig. Oh my gosh. No way. Two. Ah! That's a different kind of double. Crazy. Well, we'll hurry and get them back in. I gotta grab my pliers. Okay. This first one on the spoon today. And I think it's a better fish. It's really. 
see it. That is a nice fish. Oh, it's hooked on the ice. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, it's a fatty. It's on the bigger end for the fish that I catch in here, but definitely not anything close to my biggest. But wow, that thing has been eating. Maybe a big hen. What a pretty fish. So, yeah, spoon produced the best fish of the day so far. We'll get her back in. All right, so just move the quick strike. And fortunately, we got a fish. It's still on there. So, that may mean we move over to these holes. Ah, it's just a little guy though. Caught a decent one right in the corner of the mouth. Decent one over there on the jig. I think I'll reset this again see what happens. What happens. The only real decent one today has been on that spoon, the Thomas Buoyant. Um, so, not quite ready to move over here just for that fish, even though it's slowed down a little bit. I drilled a series of holes, as you can see, through there, I've got a series out that way. Um, and, you know, that's, as I've described in my how to find fish video, you know, that that's one of the methods that I use to, you know, to locate fish is, you know, doing that. There's kind of a ridge that comes out here. It drops off really rapidly. I went in right up against kind of the cliff face. Um, didn't mark any fish with the fish finder. I jigged those holes for just a little while, each hole as I worked along. Like I said, also went out past where I'm set up. So, but some days, even though I've caught quite a few fish this morning, um, like I said, they've just been little guys and I wanna try to find those big ones. All right, well, I am kinda in a mess here. Hopefully it stays on. I got Oh. Oh, still there. there we are. I was trying to change out to another rod. Saw the fish come in on the fish finder. What I'm doing, I'm running multiple dead sticks with jigs here at different depths. And then if I see a fish come on, I can just target it really quick. So I saw that one come on, brought my jig up to it, just wiggled it just a little bit and caught him. the gold worm. Another one. Okay, we're calling it a day. It is a complete whiteout. 